In this fight, we go up against the Killing Scissors and they have 50 million HP each. Their force time lasts for 5 turns. While their force gauge is charging up, your Brave gain will lower, you cannot gain a lot of Brave, and your Brave damage resist will also go down. Do make sure that you can be safe during the HP attacks. Their force ability will break you and they will inflict 1 turn of paralysis on anyone they break or anyone who is already broken. They will also give themselves buffs for defense and speed up. Bringing dispel characters or characters that can do a lot of damage to them will help. To stop their force gauge, you need to bring a melee force ability and enter your own force time. You can use Dash, Gobrant or Camelot FR if you don't want to use Ursula here. At 79 and 29% they will take all of your brave and inflict speed down. Try to trigger these thresholds at the same time if you want to avoid the bosses taking your brave consecutively. This fight is not as bad when it first debuted and you can kill these bosses quite quickly with the right setup. When it comes to the characters that you can use, there are a few you can use Dash, Camelot, Kral, Kane, Layla, Ursula if you want to use her here, Tidus, Galoof, Machina, Freya, Porum. You don't have to use Ursula in this fight. I know I didn't when this first came out in JP, but you know, you can find ways around it if you don't want to go for Ursula's force weapon. Ursula returns with the FR weapon and her partner is Ash. Her force ability is called Twin Heavenly Palm Strike. It will increase by 15% if all party members have at least 20% of their max brave on their turn and it will go up by an additional 30% if all party members have at least 100% of their max brave on their turn. I do hope that this guide has helped you and if it has you can let me know. But other than that, goodbye and good luck.